Hey there. So, uh, I spent the night last night at uh, Walcott, Iowa, at uh, the world's largest truck stop. And so I got up this morning and uh, went ahead and went inside and got something to eat. And then came on over to uh, Omaha and did the drop and hook. Which that that went pretty quickly because they, they had an empty they had a couple of empty trailers there, so then I came back over to Council Bluffs and got the trailer washed out, and so the next load picks up here in Council Bluffs and uh, I have to look. I think I think it goes to Park City. Is that right? No, Corrine, Utah. Corrine, Utah. And if I'm not mistaken, that's up north of uh, some wad of Salt Lake City area. So, in the meantime, I dropped my trailer at the place where I'm going to be picking a load up at. And then I went to Best Buy. <laughs> and the reason I went to Best Buy, I wanted to buy, a, I needed a USB uh, extension cable. Because I actually use one of those. I've used one of those for a few years as, an ex you know, as a power extension, actually. Uh, and finally, I guess over the years, it just wore out. And, you know, there was a part uh, that just kind of on the inside of the female portion, the, the piece of plastic came out. And so I just needed a new one of these. But So that's why I went to Best Buy. But while I was in Best Buy, it's dangerous, of course, for me to go to, to uh, Best Buy. While, while I was in Best Buy, I happened to see one of these. And what this is, it's a... It's an SD card, but it's got Wi-Fi built in. So the idea is that, and these these cards have been around for you know probably since 2007 was the first time I heard of them. Uh, they've been around at least that long, 2008. So the way this works, uh, it works like a normal SD card, except you can plug it into your like a DSLR type camera, and then you configure it to uh, hook up to the Wi-Fi, like a private Wi-Fi network with your phone, and then, uh, you know, and then once you, you can just snap your picture and it immediately uploads to the phone, which that's a uh, pretty good convenience, and it can either be a, J, you know, like a JPEG picture or it could be a video from the uh, DSLR, so that, I've thought about getting one of those for a long time, but, uh, these things have been, like I say, these things have been around for a long time, so uh, I think the technology, I watched a couple of YouTube videos before I decided to buy it, and I think the technology is pretty well proven at this point, and they've made it, looks like it's pretty easy to uh, set up, and it actually works the way it's supposed to, so that's, so I bought that, but that's, I'm not done yet. While I was in there, I decided that uh, I would look at, uh, tablets. Uh, I have a uh, an 8 inch, let me grab it, see I have this 8 inch Samsung, it's a Galaxy Tab uh, 3 I believe, and it works okay, I use it for, uh, what I use it for is uh, GPS functions, and I play podcasts with it. I listen to audiobooks, of course, through Bluetooth, and it works pretty good for that, with the exception that there it's sluggish. And I think what has happened over time, it's either got kind of crud, you know, file crud in there, or uh, some of the applications that I'm using are just too, you know, kind of hard on it. So I wanted something that had a little bit better performance. And so I've got this uh, Galaxy Tab uh, S2 8 inch. And it's got a, I think it has a, like a, an octa core processor. And so uh, I played with it. They had a demo unit set up in the store. And I did play with it a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to get this open. They had a demo unit set up in the store, and I will say that, you know, it was, you could tell that it was snappy compared to, you know, because they had some other ones that were, that were cheaper, and uh, this, 
this the, the demo unit that they had seemed to be pretty snappy so uh, that's what I want because it I find it I often find it uh, frustrating with this uh, older tablet I find that it, it to be a kind of a frustrating experience uh, getting the thing to uh, respond sometimes there we go so anyway I got the lid off here's the tablet uh, looks like it's a slightly different form factor they're both eight inches but it looks like the it's close the old one is a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll, this is the new one. So you can kind of see, uh, I get it lined up right there. So the new one, uh, the old one is a little bit longer, but then the new one is a little bit taller. Here's the old one, here's the new one right here. So, and this one does seem it's slightly thinner. The thickness of it doesn't matter, though. I'm, what I'm more concerned with is uh, I want the thing to perform because I, like I say, I do a lot of uh, GPS type stuff with it, and uh, it just works better if uh, you know the thing just kind of is snappy and it can do multiple things at once without. Uh, sort of slowing down and so it's always good to have a little bit more uh, performance so but like I say this one was okay it's fine I think probably what I'll do is kind of clean all of my stuff off of it and uh, probably you know give it to my parents because uh, they, they can always use uh, extra tablets so uh, anyway so I'm gonna get busy uh, kind of setting some of this stuff up so here I'm using the uh, Samsung transfer application. I forget the exact name of it, but uh, it works through Wi-Fi, or you could uh, set up a direct connection through the connectors at the bottom. But uh, Wi-Fi works just as well, and so you can see that it's in the process of pretty quickly uh, transferring applications that was the old tablet this is the new one and you can see that it's moving right along uh, that'll focus there you can see that application wise there's about 2.21 gigabytes and it's going through the Wi-Fi and it's moving along pretty quickly Okay, so you can see it's now done on the other one, the old one, and then on the new one, it's in the process of uh, saving. So it, it moved all of the uh, data over. There was probably maybe a total of four gigabytes of data, something like that. So now it's in the process of installing the apps, because uh, otherwise it would have to download them. Uh, from the internet so and they were already all up to date and it should also I'm hoping keep the data as far as my passwords and stuff so maybe I won't have to re-log in it's no big deal if I do have to but uh, if I can save a few steps then that's all the better so it's now a while later I've uh, gotten the tablet set up and uh, installed in the windshield mount that I already had and everything everything seems to be up to date and uh, all of the apps that I had installed on the other tablet uh, are now installed on the new one the big difference is that uh, this one has a much faster processor uh, so I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that uh, I also got the uh, iFi Mobi Pro uh, SD card installed into my uh, wherever it's at uh, camera. Here it is, right here. Into my Nikon uh, DSLR. And so now I can snap a picture or take a video. I'm showing you some video right now. 
that I just shot uh, with the camera. Didn't take the SD card out. It transferred automatically to the phone. Uh, and I'm able to play them, those files that I recorded on this camera directly. I can put those right into the uh, video editor right there on the phone. So that's going to be actually pretty handy. Uh, and let's face it, you know, as good as cameras have gotten in smartphones, and they've gotten pretty good, they don't quite compare to uh, real DSLR. And the difference is, of course, uh, the optics, the lenses. It is, uh, you know, until this point, if you, you know, you having a lens that's that size, ground to the precision that they grind these, there's no comparison, you know, plus the larger, um, you know, they're physically larger digital chips uh, that, you know, that act as the film. Uh, they can try to miniaturize that, and they've done a pretty good job of, uh, of getting as much quality out of it as they possibly can, but at the same time, I don't, you know, they still, you still can't match a DSLR as far as uh, the quality goes. So that's going to be really handy to be able to take pictures and uh, not have to worry about plugging them into the computer and doing things with them. I can just take a snap a picture and uh, you know immediately uh, upload it or do whatever I want to with it. So or take a video. So that ought to be pretty neat. So anyway, from Council Bluffs, Iowa. I'll talk to you later.